Future Trend channel is glad to welcome all of our subscribers and uh, for the date of uh, 10 of October 2018 we start our everyday uh, analysis and today we'd like to concentrate your attention um, around uh, t uh, four major currencies among them are euro dollar dollar yen uh, cable and dollar swiss at the moment uh, as you could see uh, uh, the united states currency is uh, easily uh, start to mm, lose uh, some ground um, that's uh, mostly because of uh, a subsiding uh, yield of uh, united states uh, government papers also, uh, there are some technical mm, kind of moments uh, that were, uh, take or, uh, that took the United States currency slightly lower at the moment. But also, um, we'd like to mm, note you that uh, there are some kind of mm, interesting developments, for example, in the cable, uh, where uh, the Dow Jones uh, news wires reported uh, that uh, UK and European Union is really uh, very close to reach an agreement uh, for the future trading uh, relations and probably as soon as Monday uh, that kind of agreement could be um, could be announced and of course uh, that should uh, support uh, the cable uh, and uh, we also see we already see that uh, the cable is uh, uh, um, a little bit higher than uh, comparing to the last trading session at the moment trading around 131.65 uh, next level to watch located around 32.20 but more important of course is uh, the corrective uh, rebound highs uh, that was uh, uh, reached during 20 of September around 133 the figure uh, from the point of view of longer term perspectives, uh, the pair should uh, break and close above its moving average 200 daily line allocated around 134.95 and probably in case of a real announcement of, uh, uh, of the deal between uh, the two economies, uh, we could easily uh, target uh, such kind of levels uh, during the uh, next uh, couple of uh, sessions. As regarding some other currencies, uh, for example, the euro dollar, uh, the euro dollars uh, plunge uh, yesterday to the level of 114.32. Uh, it gave us an opportunity to uh, enter a fresh uh, uh, long position in the currency at 114.60. There is a kind of interesting. Um, mm, uh, uptrend line located around the uh, one uh, thirteen ninety. To be honest, uh, let's see mm, where is it. Yes, it's uh, around uh, one fourteen. But to say the truth, uh, uh, the real uh, level is around one uh, thirteen ninety three. And while above this trend line, uh, probably uh, the pair could extend uh, its recent uh, rebound uh, the level to watch to the upside of course is uh, the level 115 and a half with a more important uh, resistance barrier located around 117 and a half which we put as a target zone for existing a uh, long uh, position in um, in the euro dollar as regarding the dollar swiss uh, here the situation remains uh, more or less uh, bullish uh, uh, for the dollar swiss uh, and uh, uh, taking into account the absence of uh, important economic releases uh, uh, during today uh, the market uh, should concentrate on uh, technical factors uh, probably mm, we already reached an, uh, an intermediate uh, kind of uh, uh, highs in the pair and uh, probably in the next couple of sessions uh, the dollar swiss uh, could uh, extend its uh, corrective uh, plunge uh, but uh, to say the truth of course uh, the situation um, at the moment uh, short term situation uh, remains uh, quite bullish uh, for the dollar swiss uh, that's why we prefer to stand aside uh, and uh, we will uh, only uh, resell the pay on a possible uh, retest of the level of 9950 uh, we will be ready to um, to add to existing short position uh, around uh, 0.9990 with a stop above uh, 10020 and uh, finally a few words about the dollar swiss uh, the dollar swiss at the moment trading around 113 
our target uh, zone uh, with our short trade recommendation initiated during previous trading week at 114.40 uh, uh, is around 111.50.60. Uh, to say the truth, of course, uh, uh, to really extend its uh, slight uh, further, the risk aversion uh, sit situation should uh, develop uh, in the financial markets and uh, probably um, we will get some um, another kind of impetus uh, for the dollar yen uh, to fall uh, to fall further from the mm, asset market uh, from the stock market uh, because in case of risk aversion spreading uh, um, uh, stock indices uh, should uh, remain under the selling pressure and that uh, will mean that probably uh, the dollar yen could extend its uh, recent weakness Thank you uh, very much for all of your attention of our channel, our dear subscribers. Tomorrow we will be back uh, with you, as usually, in the morning.